How to make a living will. Just saying that you don't want extraordinary measures taken if you become incapacitated doesn't cut it. You need to spell out your wishes in a living will. You will need to be 18 years old, a sound mind, two witnesses, and a notary public. Step one, there are no federal laws that govern living wills, so you need to know your state's requirements. Indeed. Do an internet search for living will, your state, and requirements. There is also a privately held nationwide registry, which you can access at www.uslivingwillregistry.com. Be careful, there are websites that charge for the same information that you can obtain for free. Step two, start the document by attesting to your sanity as of the date that you signed the document. You should use the phrases being of sound legal mind and acting under no coercion. Step three, spell out the specific circumstances and conditions in which you want your living will followed. A persistent vegetative state, a terminal illness, brain damage, paralysis. Step four, list any and all treatments you wish to refuse, such as feeding tube, CPR, a respirator, and dialysis. Consider completing a do not resuscitate or DNR order along with your living will. This orders medical personnel not to give you CPR in the event your breathing or heart stops. Step five, if you want the maximum paid medication, be sure to say so, especially because choosing to accept or deny life prolonging measures may cause severe discomfort. Step six, take yourself and two witnesses to a notary public who will attest that everything was in order when you signed and dated the document. Ideally, your witnesses should be people who can cough up the document if it's ever needed. In some states, your spouse, relatives, doctor, and heirs can't be witnesses. So check before you go. Step seven, give loved ones a copy of your living will so that if the need ever arises, your specific wishes will be honored. Also, give copies to your doctors and store one in a safe but accessible place, not a safe deposit box. Step eight, consider appointing a health proxy, someone who has the authority to approve your wishes if you are unable to do so. Health proxy forms are available online or from your local hospital. Did you know 38% of Americans have a living will?